Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. So, welcome to Saturday, and welcome to my Saturday 1 to 75 Resto Special. So, on the Magic Roundabout today, we have got the Sight Hut Truck. Uh, number 60, I believe. Let's check it out. And so let's first of all get the name right. So we've got a Sight Hut truck. And we have the number 60. So I waited till my Sight Huts came in. And by the way, those were a small fortune. Bought them at Recover Toy. So anyway, this is going to be hopefully a easy resto slash custom uh i am going to customize one of them and it's going to be a surprise what it's going to be so let's get them off and hit the big book see you in a bit all right so let's uh track down the specs on the site truck first of all open the picture of it there it is in all its beauty 60B1, and now let's see the specs about it. Do, do, do. Go. All right, there it is right there. 1966, year before I was born. So this one only had one variation. It came out in the B series. So that's it. Now let's check out the color scheme. I think we already know that. There it is. 60B Sight Hut Truck. Issued 1966. Blue body. Yellow plastic hut with a green roof. Black plastic wheels. Uh, so this is the only version of this truck. So anyway. Or I should say the only version in the regular wheels. I'm not too sure if it came out in the super fast. I'll have to check it out. So anyway. All right, let's uh, let's take it apart and get this party started. All right, so I chose to take these apart off camera because I didn't know what it entailed taking off the base, being all plastic and all. So anyway, no real problems other than I did break one of these. It's kind of like a kind of like the shock absorber that they put in the regular wheels. So anyway, so besides that. I'm ready to put them in the stripper and press on. So, stick around. Operation Sight Hut Truck. So here's the Sight Truck. Got her all polished up, for the most part. Can't get every nook and cranny on these wheel wells. So, very excited to do this. As always, one's going to be a custom, one's going to be a resto. So, yeah, I can't get that paint off in there, but, oh, well, it'll still shine up pretty good, I'm sure. All right, see you on the next shoot. Sight truck is ready to be painted. Like I say, here's all the good detail poking through. So, all right, stick around. I'm going to paint this one blue and then the other one a custom. All right, I am ready to put the Sight Hut trucks together. So here's my Resto. And I had to repaint it because I painted it too dark originally. So anyway, I'll see you at the reveal. All right, before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what I started with. Two cool-looking sight hut trucks. All right, let's see where I ended up. All right, it is time for the reveal for my sight hut trucks. So this is my Resto. So this one I actually had to repaint because I painted it, I think it was a royal blue or a regular blue, and it was too dark. So I had to, uh, I stripped it again and then I just redid it into this color. This color is pretty close. And I did get a new uh, hut for the truck at Recover Toy. So this is my Resto. 
It came out pretty decent. All right. Now, my custom. I really am digging how this turned out. So, yes. This is a BP livery custom. So, I have plenty of BP stickers. I couldn't find any small enough for the door. So, I went ahead and did it on the... Uh, on the hut so it's pretty cool that the colors of the hut are the BP colors as long as it's coming around and what I did I painted the bed green too I just take these little rivets heads when I use them to make axles and then I actually uh, just use those for my covers and there's a gas tank chrome that out so oh. so I'll, I'll add this to my collection so let me bring on the other one as they do one lap around as always I want to thank everybody for watching this is really a fun build not too complicated all right, so let's see what's on the docket for next Saturday in my Saturday Night Restos. Going back to the farm. So these little jewels. So I had four of these, but I sent one to my buddy Juan over at Matchbox Resurrection. I sent him one. And uh, I do have the doors, the replacement doors. So let's see what this is. This is it's another oldie. With the tabs on the bottom. The Marshall Horse Box. MK7 by Lesney. Number 35. So that'll be next week. The, uh, the paint shouldn't be hard to match up on the tan. I wouldn't think so. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put these in the Cossack Soda as a set or... In the citrus strip. I don't know yet. All right, so let's bring these back on for one final spin. So, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every one of you. And stay tuned for future builds, including uh, there's a Porsche Invitational for. Andrew over at Maple Leaf, that's coming up. So stay tuned for that. I know he's got like 38 people doing it, so good for him. That's awesome. So, all right. So on that note, I'll quit yammering. I'll catch you on the next video, and stay safe. That's all, folks.